Hey everyone, Lady Steam here, welcome, and Coyote, welcome to YouTube from Order of Games. This video is all about how to make this very cool time cage bracelet. We're calling it a time cage because it's a cage gear, although we didn't put the top on it because I thought the screw tops were too cool. To they look are, at. they really are. I don't know if this one fits on you. It does Thanks. actually. How about that? Spin your gears. All right. So much fun. <laughs> Might take a little time here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to open up the package, show you what the pieces and parts are, and we're going to finish this video with finishing building the um, wooden parts themselves, the geared parts, and then you'll watch the second video for all about how to build this really cool paracord bracelet. Um... Hopefully you got the message in the video on the wobble rocket to watch this video first because it's a much, much easier to do this bracelet than it is the other one. But we're looking forward to showing you how it all works. So let's open it up, Coyote, right. and see what's in it. I've got a nice pair of scissors there for you. So I don't have to use my teeth this time? No teeth required. Uh. All right, let's see what we got. Just like in other projects, we've got a separate bag for the gears and a separate bag for the hardware. Shall we open these? Yeah, we should open the wood pieces. All right. We also have a separate bag for the paracord parts. We're gonna put those on the side because we don't need them until we get to the other project. You're gonna find two gears I'm calling stars and the cage gear, and a little spacer to go underneath it, and three pieces of wood. Not the most complicated project, but one of the very coolest that we've done. So here's the order it's gonna go in when you put it together. We're gonna put that facing the back. So you need to make sure you sand this surface because this gear is gonna spin on it. So decorate this side, but make sure you sand at least the middle part of this. Then we're gonna put this big piece on top, like so, and completely cover it up with this piece, which is going to have our two gears spinning on it. So again, you wanna sand on the front surface of this, and then our little tiny piece is gonna actually be hidden inside, so you can't see it. And our cage gear is gonna go on top of that, along with our two little stars. So sand the back of the stars as always, cause they're gears. Sand this entire surface. And decorate and make it pretty. It's teeny tiny, so you're gonna have lots of time to make it as pretty as you want and once you are done sanding and then decorating come back watch the next part of the video and we'll put it together with you now that you've got all your pieces and parts decorated you've done such an awesome job coyote i try let's open the bag and see what we've got all right there should be 10 3 8 inch screws and one half inch screw and a whopping three nuts. All right, looks like we got everything there. All right, so we look like we're in good shape. So what I did the last time I assembled one of these was I started with that. And we're gonna take these screws and we're gonna run them up from the back side. And we're going to want to glue them in. And the easiest way to do that is to put a dot of glue on that screw as you go. So I'm just going to put a nice little dot of glue there. And I like these small screwdrivers. The professor likes the big ones. Yeah. Hopefully you can cope. I'll make it work. And we're just going to go around the circle and we're going to put these, glue these in. Now, if you don't get enough glue on them, if you feel like they're going to come loose, 
the way we're assembling it, they can't fall out, but they could, wouldn't be even if they weren't glued in nicely. Um, so I'm going to show you one more thing you could optionally do if you don't think you get enough glue on them. I think we're doing pretty good, though. And you could be as messy as you want with this. I'm permitting you to be <laughs> messy. I know I don't do that very often, but this is Lady Steam, hereby permitting a mess. This is way easier with two people than it was by myself. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Much faster, too. Feel free to pause the video after this step if you're ahead or behind. That should be plenty of super glue. Oh, yes. And a little bit for my fingers, too. Well, I don't want you to miss out. <laughs> six we could practice math this way we could talk about six eighths in decimal <laughs> you can actually hear it screw through the wood that's interesting Okay, now that you've got that in place, you'll notice that it has a lovely collection of glue on it. So I'm going to wipe up some of it to make your life easier. The other thing I was going to tell you is if you don't feel like you get enough glue on the screws as you put them through, you can always just lay it down on its points, put a whole ring of glue on it, and then let it sit for a half hour or so and dry them all that way. And that works too. Or, you know, use baking soda <laughs> and make science. And you can put baking soda on it and it will instantly dry. And since you're not gonna see it, the baking soda would be perfect. Yeah. Um, and now we're going to take the half inch screw and put it through the other direction from the front and we're going to put a dot of glue on here and since we don't care how much glue we have glue is not a problem we'll glue that down like so the only place glue would be a problem is if we were going to put this together this instant and there are extra glue on the edges are we do we need to give that a minute to dry or are we good yeah I need just a touch here. Well, let's set that aside and let's put our stars on while we're waiting. Sounds good. Okay, so we're going to take our other two 3 8 inch screws and they're going to go down through the stars onto these two sides. And then we're going to glue the nuts on the back of these. Just call me glue girl. <laughs> now, as always, when you're doing gears, you want to make sure you they don't that the super glue doesn't go back through and that it's nice and loose to spin. So we'll continue spinning this off and on. And he got it too tight. Just a little. It's all about how smoothly will it there spin. We go. There we go. Oh, I haven't tried that yet. I wonder what an air compressor will do on this project. Oh, that sounds exciting. Does that sound like an exciting thing? I get we can make the cage gear fly with the air compressor. <laughs> Again, don't try that without your dad. 
or mom. Make sure they're both nice and loose. And then I always set them down face down so they nope the other way so that the glue does not go up through the holes and cause trouble. All right. Okay. Let's put the cage gear on. All right. Are we putting it onto this one we first? We are putting it onto that one first. All right. There you go. Make sure it's still spinning nicely. Tightened up on me. <laughs> and you didn't get it too tight, and you didn't let it tighten up on you. This is why we test these things and spin them often after we glue them. You need a screwdriver. There you go. Okay. Flying gear. All right. Now, we're going to put this piece on that piece. Glue this piece to that piece. First, let's make sure it actually fits. And I didn't do something wrong. I'm sure that's never happened to any of you, but every so often, we make mistakes here at Steamy Tech. It's the no, fun of really? it's the fun of rapid design. No, it's not mistakes. It's uh, simply before the design improvements, right? Pre iteration. All right. Now he's making sure those get lined up nice and straight. I really like this having you help. It means I don't get glue on my <coughs> fingers. Where's the fun in that? You're missing out. All right. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this and set it on top but once you, and glue it together. But to do that, one of the things we're going to make sure we do is align those as we sit them down. What did you do? Make sure that'll spin nicely still. And this one's being stubborn. What did you do? Did I not get the center tight enough or is it tightening? It's not super loose. I just wasn't lined up. I'm sure it's all me. I'm sure once it's lined up perfectly, it'll spin fine. Yeah, there you go. Okay. One more layer of glue. Don't get it too close to your circle or it'll bleed into the center and it will be bad. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, one each time cage bracelet ready to go. Yay, team! And let the spinning begin. All right, now that you're done with that, you can stop this video and we'll set up for the next one and show you how to make a Cobra Paracord bracelet. All right.